Huawei's founder, Gavin McInnes, contributed to Rebel Media, which is the communication arm of proto-fascism in Canada, and spawn a former Sun News TV hack, Ezra Levant. Sun News TV is what Fox News would have been like if it was done by a zero-budget local community access television station. Rebel was started by Ezra and Hamish Marshall, the guy who managed longtime secret American Andrew Shear's run for the Prime Minister's job in 2019. And before you think current conservative leader Aaron O'Toole is a different stripe from his conservative and name-only predecessors, O'Toole's manager, Jeff Bellingnall, is not only tied to Canada Proud, but worked for Levant at Sun News TV. In fact, the connections between the domestic terrorists of Proud Boys and the Conservative Party of Canada are more prevalent and tangible than were any connections between the We Charity and Justin Trudeau. But by all means, let's worry about the Minister of Youth and a youth empowerment charity. We're still Canada Proud and their various provincial seedlings are just one of many creepy social engineers on Facebook posting things that start off playing to the average Canadian's patriotism in order to infiltrate your feed for later toxic partisan misrepresentations and hot button anger triggers against Trudeau, the Liberals, immigrants, or what have you. It's the sort of social manipulating anti-science nutbars that try to equate the cost of two shots of a vaccine during an immediate health crisis with the long-term societal problems causing famine and starvation and poverty. Under the logic that clearly if we can afford two doses of medicine for everyone during a once-in-a-century pandemic, then we must be able to fix world hunger forever too, right? As I've said before, if you're not critically thinking when on social media, you're a rube. And if hardcore social engineers don't find a way to manipulate you there, then they'll get you with a if you act now infomercial or a robocall scam or a dumb post from a guy named Alan challenging you to come up with a boy's name starting with the letter A and ending in the letter N. Bet you can't do it. The only tolerance these racist manipulators can stomach is for dairy products. On this day in 1964, NASA launched the Mariner probe towards Mars. As usual, no one bothered asking Mars if it wanted to be probed. What? It's also National French Toast Day and Aurora Awareness Day. And that's today's Does Bear Digest. See you tomorrow.